All right, guys. Just put in the plosive multimeter through some tests. I'm going to do a temperature test using my soldering iron. I'm going to do a capacitor test. I'm going to do a resistor test, a ohms test. I'm going to do a DC voltage test and an AC voltage test. And I'm going to do a continuity test. I'm going to check this fuse and check the continuity and this conductor. So let's begin. So in the, I'm going to just connect the temperature probe to do my temperature reading go to temperature And as you can see, this is the plug for the soldering iron. It is off. It's currently off. Soldering iron currently off. To the tip. We're not getting anything right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to plug it in. And let the reading begin. No, this is my temperature check. And I just want to see it go up to at least 190 degrees Celsius. in temperature yeah so we are fast 190 degrees Celsius so yeah we have 205 210 degrees Celsius it's 210 degrees Celsius and I'll take that reading so we're good with the temperature check see remove the probe from the southern iron and temperature is going down on the meter 
so I can disconnect this put this out of the way now I'm going to do a capacitor check Alligator leads. And this capacitor is rated at three microfarads plus or minus five percent. So I should get at least three pint. 3.3 over are about 2.95 less for it to be good so let's check that I'm going to capacitor I have to use the select button put it on capacitor there you can see the F and the end so it doesn't matter where you connect the positive because there's no polarity different um, difference on this so I'm getting 3.4 microfarad so that's good remove it you see the reading is gone so I'm going to do a, a resistor check so I'm going to check that see how much ohms you're going to get put it on the don't, don't need to rem, um, move the selector just need to select the mood and as you can see that's for ohms hope you can see that put my lead on one end of the resistor put the lead on another end of the resistor and we got a good reading should read approximately that that's 989 ohms, 990 ohms. So that's a pass. I also got some special leads. So this meter, as you have seen, have a lot of leads. So I'm going to check this variable resistor with this. And um, all this work. You just hook it on by electronic circuits these leads so I can hook it right here hook it right here and I can hook this on anyone down here Now I can just clamp these probes together. And it's a variable resistor I'm checking. So I can turn it up and turn it down the resistance. And this is rated at 500 ohms but as you can see I max it out and I only get 380.2 ohms 
and bring it down back slowly yeah remember it's a variable resistor so you can adjust the resistance and that's good So I just remove my probes now. No reading. O L. Open line. I remove these. Yes. Undefy electronic. For testing purposes. Very handy. All these leads came with this meter. It's the only multimeter that comes with so much leads by within the package. So I'm gonna check for continuity now. So I don't still don't move the selector because that setting is at the same place. I just need to select it. I just need to select it. So there it is. The ohms and the beep signal so to check everything is all right with your probe first I put them together and see I get continuity the beep and the light now I'm gonna check continuity on this conductor continuity with no resistance so good conductor now I'm going to check it on the fuse nothing on the fuse that means we have an open fuse so this fuse is no good Next I'm gonna do a DC voltage check. So I get my battery and I go to voltage. And I select DC, it's already on DC. You can see that. already on DC right so, and this is a 1.5 volt battery negative to negative positive to positive I'm getting 1.4 volts that's good and if you switch around the polarity, you will get a negative 1.4 volts. Alright, now I'm going to do an AC volts check. So I select, use the, this button to select AC. right there and I'm getting 116 volts 116 volts AC and that's good And I also have an NCV feature that's for near contact volt check. Press and hold this button 
EF comes on the display and you just bring it this is the sensor and you just bring it across where you expect the voltage should be and this only works for AC volt And the closer it is, the faster it beeps. Flashlight feature. And backlight feature. So, thank you for watching guys. Like, subscribe and share technical hands on peace